the final example on exact differential equations. Now our third example is exercise 27 of page 37. And we are asked to find the general solution of this differential equation. So again, first step is to check whether indeed this is an exact differential equation. So this will be our M term and this will be our N term. Now if you distribute this one, this is 6x squared plus 2xy minus 2xy e to the negative x squared. So since this is our m term, we will differentiate it with respect to y. And the x is constant. So 6x squared is constant. So the derivative of that is 0. 2xy, the derivative of that with respect to y is 2x. And minus 2xy e to the negative x squared, the derivative of that is minus 2x e to the negative x squared. Now let's go to our n term. And we are going to differentiate it with respect to x. So y here is a constant. So x squared will be 2x. 3y squared will be 0. And e to the negative x squared is, derivative of this is negative 2x, e to the negative x squared. So as you can see, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So this is an exact differential equation. So we'll now proceed with our solution. So for this example, instead of integrating m dx, let's try to perform integral of n dy. Now, again, the integral of n dy is the integral of partial derivative of f with respect to y dy, which is the integral of quantity x squared plus 3y squared plus e to the x squared dy. So in this integration, x is a constant. So x squared dy will just give us x squared y. And... Uh, the integral of 3y squared dy will give us 3y cubed over 3. So what remains is y cubed. And uh, e to the negative x squared dy will give us y e to the neg negative x squared plus a constant of integration that is a function of x. We'll differentiate this f with respect to x. So y is constant. So x squared y derivative of that with respect to x is 2xy. Derivative of y cubed is 0. Derivative of y e to the negative x squared is 2xy e to the negative x squared plus the derivative of a of x which is a prime of x. But again, m is also partial derivative of f with respect to x so we can equate this term to m so our m is this one and we equate this to this term so as we distribute if this is 2x times 3x so this is 6x squared 2xy and you have a 2xy here, so cancel. Then 2x times y e to the negative x squared minus is 2xy e to the negative x squared. You have also 2xy e to the negative x squared cancelled. So what remains is 6x squared equal to a prime of x. So as we integrate this to solve for a of x, it will give us... 2x cubed because the integral of 6x squared dx is 6x cubed over 3. So it will give us 2x cubed. So we will substitute this 2x cubed 
here. So as we rewrite, 2x cubed will be a of x. And since f is equal to c, then substituting f equal to c, our final answer will be x squared y plus y cubed plus y e to the negative x squared plus 2x cubed equal to c. So this is our uh, general solution to the exact differential equation. And may I just uh, say for the three examples that I have already presented, try differentiating the general solution of each problem and you will find out that the differential of each solution will give you the given differential equation. So for this one, if you differentiate this, you will arrive at our given exact differential equation. So, I hope by this time you already know how to solve exact differential equations. And as I've said, before proceeding with this type of solution, see to it that you are solving an exact differential equation by performing the checking whether the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x okay so we will be having our next topic on the coming videos thank you very much and good day